Hi everyone. So uh, today we've got something pretty interesting. It is an American Lock uh, brand padlock. It seems to be solid brass, every part. Uh, now it is, according uh, if this stamp is authentic, this is from a U.S. government contract. Uh, the person I got it from said that it was probably an ammunition lock. So I would assume uh, they're uh, making out of brass to avoid sparks. Now, uh, it does have a couple of features that make it interesting and distinguish it from uh, other American lock padlocks. Uh, it does have their standard keyway, but it's very slightly narrower, so you can't fit those uh, thicker pry bars in there. But uh, it does seem to have these press-fit plates holding the, the cylinder in place, unlike the usual uh, armor plate and retaining screw. So this is not uh, intended to be serviced. The other thing is, if we put the keys in here and open it up, uh, and we'll take a look at the shackle here, you'll notice this is not uh, the usual rounded cutout uh, that you would expect on an American lock padlock. And that's because this doesn't use the uh, ball bearing and cam uh, locking system. What it does, if you look in this shackle hole right here, I can get the light correct. That little piece that you see moving in there is a lever that rotates off to the side uh, to open and fits into those little rectangular cutouts to lock it up. So, let's get this in the vise. Now, I would suspect that it is possible to uh, shim the shackle given the uh, locking mechanism that they have for it, but we're going to try picking it. Uh, so we're going to start off uh, with a thin uh, pry bar and a Bogota style raking tool, and we're just going to try to make sure that we're sweeping the full pin stack. So we want to go all the way uh, front to back and vice versa. And we're going to see if we can get ourselves a false set, just extremely light tension. Try getting a little bit higher in some areas. Okay, I think we have one now. So let's try uh, with our very thin hook. Okay, we're getting counter, uh, counter rotation on pin number five and number four, and we have an open. So I would not say that these are the that this is the most secure American lock padlock I've ever come across, but it is very fun and a nice little uh, display piece as well. It's pretty good looking. So, uh, with that, we're going to lock this thing back up, and everyone, have fun, stay safe, stay legal, and happy picking.